Hello guys. Uh, this is gonna be my last video of today. I was um, organized uh, my videos and then trying to leave, go back home and take some rest. Then I realized I forgot to talk about a type mismatch when we do bin validation. So first let me show you the behavior of a type mismatch during the data binding, okay? So here the integer inside the user should be, so sorry, inside the user model, the age should be an integer. And also in the address model, the zip code should be integer. We expect a number, right? So now let's go back to the browser. Suppose this is our page, right? And for the age, if you we expect to be integer, you put HHH, which is a character, and for also for the zip code, you type like this. During the data binding, Spring cannot bind HHH to be an integer. The type doesn't match. So when we click add, you will see type mismatch. Okay, number format exception cannot format HHH string into an integer. The same thing happened for the zip code. And uh, this is not a very friend friendly um, message to the user. You should customize that. How to customize? You have two ways to do that. First way, Inside your error message, you can add a uh, something called type mismatch dot. You can using the type this one, Java dot long dot integer to customize. This is gonna be general, which means all the integer type. If you're gonna using the error message, you give here Java long dot uh, integer equals what's the value uh, uh, zero must be um, a number okay there's another way is type mismatch dot just using the field name the field of the address the field is called the zip code then just using zip code okay and you can give zip Code zip code must be a number. Uh, be an let's using a number. Okay, have a dot. Okay, this one we're using a exclamation. So that's it, and uh, you can redeploy. Deploy successfully. Now, let me go back to the browser and uh, refresh. It's gonna make a add. Uh, it's gonna make a get request to retrieve the form. Then click add. Now you can see the a. Uh, sorry, where it is? Oh, they, they, I have to type some values. Sorry, H H H, and this one. And click. You will see age must be a number and zip code must be a number. And if you don't provide this one, you will see age must be a number and the zip code must be a number using this way. This is more general for all the integer type and the zip code this way is targeted to only for zip code. Okay, so that's it for type mismatch. And if you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And if you like my video, please click like and also subscribe my channel, share with your friend. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.